Hey guys, Nathan Brendan Masters. If you are a member of the TCAP community, that is the To Catch a Predator community, for those out of loop, uh, those are fans of the old Dateline To Catch a Predator show with Chris Hansen, and later on he did a similar show with Crime Watch Daily. Uh, basically, it's a show where uh, they would set up a decoy to uh, lure people who are trying to, uh, let's just say, trying to get together with minors uh, for ways you shouldn't be trying to get together with an underage person. Let's uh, put it like that to keep this uh, friendly. Uh, so there's a guy on here named Skeeter Jean. And Skeeter Jean does, he he's pretty much taking the mantle, okay? He does the, the whole To Catch Predator thing and he does it. It's okay. So it's a it's a to catch a predator parody, but they're actually catching predators. But it's also a parody of to catch a predator. And now they have a whole new opening that's so reminiscent of T Cap. And he has the whole thing down. He's got the Chris Hansen mannerisms, almost the voice and everything. Like if you're not looking up at the screen, you'll sometimes forget that. Uh, you're not looking at Chris Hansen. These men are trying to meet up with teenagers online. Do you have kids of your own? Yeah. What would they think of this? They probably disown me. They think they're talking to actual teenagers, but in reality, they're talking to an adult decoy posing as one on the other end. You say 14? Yeah. Oh my god, that's too young. I act older though. You having a good Saturday night? How's it going? Now, looking at this intro, you would think this is a serious, serious teacap style show. Not only is it immoral and downright disgusting, but it's illegal. And these guys know that very well. You won't believe some of their excuses. I don't have no intentions to try to do anything. You don't. I don't. What about when you said that you wanted to slide your hands up and down her back? Who's talking to me like that at first. They come in all different shapes and sizes. It, I, this poor Justin Ryan might hurt to ever continue the conversation. I mean, he's just on point with it. He's got the delivery down. He's got everything. And then he hits you with the catchphrase. Just want to let you know you, you've just been skeeted. What is Skeet? No, I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. 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 <laughs> What's happening right now? This show is literally every parody of TCAP ever made, except it's a real show. And he is actually doing the whole thing. I, these, these are real uh, predators that they're, that they're catching. And it's, it's crazy. And I'm surprised that more people aren't talking about it. I'm surprised Mr. Gigi isn't talking about this show and uh, all the other people that uh, are into the TCAP show. It's insane. The latest one he did, and no lie, is, is on, it's on there right now. I'll put a link in the description. He showed up dressed like Santa Claus. No lie. But so you were so worried about the neighbors seeing you come in. Why were you so worried about the neighbors? I don't want to bring you no food. No. Why would you get in trouble, Tim? Because I wasn't going to do nothing. If you weren't going to do anything, why are you so worried about getting in trouble? And you were telling your adult. I don't want you to. I said, look, I don't want to go over there if you're going to get in trouble by me bringing you some food. Oh, she's going to get in trouble. So what about getting you in trouble, though? Did you think about that? You did. And you were asking said, her to... Yeah, I was asking, but I don't want to get in trouble. Come on, come on. Oh, you don't want to get in trouble. Well, it may be a little too late for that, Tim. So when I first started watching this, I was watching his older shows that were not as organized as this one. They would meet up, usually like in a public place, uh, Walmart or something like that, and then he gets the police out. 
And eventually places kind of be like, hey, you know, we don't want this here. <laughs> so they started renting uh, places and doing an actual show a, a lot like the original TCAP. And it's really interesting. And even though he uses a lot of comedy and stuff in the show, it actually, you know, he actually gets the law, law involved in everything. You guys can just take those. Those are the messages. Yeah, those are, it basically entails everything he was saying that was... Over, is this over text message or this, Facebook or something? This or? is over text message, yeah. And he does have a daughter of, of his own, so we really just want to make sure that there's... Nothing funny going on there, being that he was here to meet a young girl, so. Now, you started messaging her on Instagram first. When did it start? It started on. Okay. It started on the Meet Me dating app. Well, we got the popos up here at least, so. Yeah, you know, he, he's trying to give him a, a BS story. If you like the TCAP stuff, check out his channel. He's not the only one doing this kind of thing, but I think he's the only one I've seen doing it at this level. The way I even found this or even found that these type of shows were on YouTube is I used to watch Mr. Gigi. I still actually watch Mr. Gigi. And, uh, Mr. Gigi does film reviews and stuff like that, but he used to do the To Catch a Predator recaps. And he would do these. Uh, he had like a whole production he would do. It was, it was hilarious. Like he would do rap songs and all kinds of stuff with it. And he made it really entertaining. So it wasn't like a lot of people who just do a recap. He really put some serious effort into it. He does movie reviews and other things on his channel now. But he did move all the TCAP stuff over to his second channel, Mr. G-Dubs, and there's an, a whole playlist of all of them over there, and uh, you can you can find those uh, on his second channel. And also, he kind of had a falling out with Chris Hansen, so I, I also kind of think that's why he moved it to his second channel as well, to kind of separate himself uh, from that, because, you know, Chris Hansen hasn't been 100% up to snuff himself, and there's still some bad feelings about how he botched the Anision investigation. So uh, there's, you know, there's that. I'll put the link in the description as well if you want that TCAP playlist. If you're a big fan, you've probably already seen this, but he's got them all in order. If you're new to the TCAP community, uh, then you're pro you might be new to this. And I've seen people do similar content, but again, like Skeeter, it's not on the level of what uh, Mr. Gigi did with it. But other than that, you guys take it easy. Don't forget, we have Curse Risen on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Right now, we're doing very well on Kickstarter. This is a 32-page retelling of the original Epitaph Bread and Salt story. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, links are in the description. Right now, you have about 10 or 11 hours to grab this cover. This is the Ash and You cover. And this is the definitive restart and rebranding of Epitaph Bread and Salt. So if you're an Epitaph Bread and Salt fan, a fan of Urban Fantasy Comics, or if you're a fan of Bad Girl Comics, you'll enjoy this book. And I'm going to extend this cover for a day because there were some problems with the pricing. So you have another day to grab it. But other than that, guys, you take it easy. Nathan Brendan Masters. Awesome. this is the borderline to where the future behind the fire